Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is Coffee Chug, and here I am with another video for the GGEE Google Glass Education Experiment. And this one, I had the thought the other day while sitting on the couch, just kind of tinkering around with Google Glass, um, focusing on the option to take notes with the Google Glass. And so my Google Glass is synced up and incorporated with Evernote and the account that I use, which Evernote is something. Um, that is really the backbone to everything that I do. And so as I was messing around with this, I started to think about the idea or the concept of teachers wearing Google Glass. And while they're wearing the Google Glass, Google Glass could then, through the option of taking notes, pick up all the words that they're saying and create a written document or backlog of the events of that particular class. You know, I had to get a coffee shot in there. So I start to think about these in terms of the idea is that if a student is gone, a teacher can just share the Evernote uh, page with them. If the teacher is looking to see the words they're using or how they are um, describing or trying to teach a concept or lesson or whether it's a debate within the class, they can go back and actually read the words. And so why don't we give this a chance to try right now and see uh, what develops. So, okay class, take a note. And right now, I know you can't see it, but on the screen, um, it's picked up my voice and it's now starting to show me in my monitor the words that I'm speaking as we go through. And so, a couple things that I have that I think would be interesting to test that I'm going to do when I get back into school when winter break is over is one, jump into a classroom and actually test this out. Because the things that I need to think about is does the voice and the ambient music, or not really music, well it could be, but the ambient noise from a classroom affect the words and how Google Glass interprets them? Would it pick up the voices of other people or is it just the teacher? Um, and then how accurate is the word choice or the word translation um, from speaking to the actual Evernote account? So those are some of the things that I'd be looking at doing. Obviously, we're going to take a look at this one right here. This will be the first one that I've done, and it'll be interesting to see what actually gets translated. So in the next video, I will do a screen share of my computer screen with the Evernote page. It'll be interesting to see what we can do. I'm starting to think of the potential where we can go in and add hyperlinks, the dates, all that good stuff to really make it a pretty effective document. Besides it sharing it with students who are gone or students who need that reinforcement, I was thinking about English language learners who sometimes we speak too fast and it would help them um, go back and, and read the information. But also for teachers, just as a more reflective piece, they can go through and read what they've shared. Um, you could throw it into, into Wordle and see what words you use over and over again. Uh, it's just a, a multitude of different things that we can do once we have our words translated into Evernote. So this would be one more way for a teacher or someone in education to gain some insight on their teaching practices, which would require video because we all know that not everybody is comfortable with the video, um, but sometimes with speaking, this may be a little bit different. This is Coffee Chug, thinking about another concept for GGEE, and the next one I will then share with you what Google Glass is actually portraying on the screen and in the Evernote. So I'm going to go ahead and end this uh, note taking right now. It's done. And it just translated it to Evernote. And so then I'll go ahead and pull that up and I will share that with you um, very soon. Thanks guys.